Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Tim. I'm a flooring and stair contractor. This is Jones Knows, where we take you out to actual projects that we're installing for clients, where we're doing stairs, wood floors, vinyl floors, you name it. And today we're out at a project where we're going to be doing some leveling before we can install our wood floor. We have, we're going over the top of some tile here. I guess it's stone. There's probably six different surfaces in this house. Today we have some serious problems, but well, we're going to show you how to fix it. We're going to be using some self-leveler and we're going to make it look perfect. So without any further ado, let's hit it. It's so beautiful, you and me, we meant to be in the great outdoors, forever free. Uh, you notice before we pour any mud, we primed. This blue stuff is the primer. We rolled this on, we diluted it with water. Uh, it is by Maypie. It's the primer that goes with this Maypie Self Leveler Plus. Uh, you notice here in the step down, I created a dam. Now, it's, it's not the Hoover Dam, but I'm pretty damn proud of it. Um, this is some scrap wood that we have here and some silicone caulking. We put it up. I didn't glue it onto the face of the riser, I just butted it to it. I put these five gallon buckets here and then I silicone caulk the edge to make it water tight. And now our mud won't just drop down and sink into the next room. Working with me today is my son Hunter. He is, believe it or not, really good at mud. He's not that old, but he's been doing this since he can walk basically. Um, and he's going to show you how to put this self leveler down. The key to doing this properly is having a few buckets and keep on mixing. Don't have a lot of time between when you pour it and, and then you have to mix another bucket up. If you can have two people and one person mixing, one person leveling, or even three people, it goes a lot smoother. Uh, if you have like 15, 20 minutes between pours, that's when you start running into trouble and the, the mud's not gonna run the way it should. So uh, we're gonna have a few different buckets. We're gonna have a, four bags we're planning on using here and we're gonna be mixing them up a couple at a time. It's staying ahead of him. So by the time he runs out of one bucket, the next one's gonna be ready to pour. Wow, we are all done. That floor is now perfect. Another one bites the dust. Well, the dust on me. Little, little, little dirty, but we got it done and it came out just the way I expected. If you enjoyed this, be sure to check out all of our other content. We have lots of great videos just like this, but we need your help. YouTube doesn't promote our videos as much as they should, so tell your friends, family, and of course, if you already haven't, take out your favorite floor mount and smash that subscribe button so you don't miss any future content. Thanks for watching.